I believe we are now going live. Uh, welcome to Impact Nations. Uh, I am Tim and I am chatting with Mike Brown. Uh, and we are uh, live from a car in Kenya. <laughs> yeah, we are live from Nakuru in a slum called Rwanda. Rwanda. Rwanda is a slum where Impact Nation has helped us so many times, especially bringing the gospel and also providing the the water uh, the water filter. This is one one of the largest Islam in Nakuru. And today people have been locked up such that the only moment they're allowed to move is during the day. In the next one hour from now, everything will close down. Wow. Because the country is shutting down. But the amazing thing, these are the people, they have no homes. So uh, the challenge is when the government tells people, stay at home. If I was in America, that's another story. <laughs> but when I'm in Africa <laughs> and I'm told to stay at home, the second question is, which home? Yeah. And what is home? <laughs> <laughs> but by the grace of God, uh, first of all, it's just to thank the Impact Nation for being part of us all this year, for many, many years. This is probably 11 years since I first worked with Impact Nation. Yeah. And each year, we have been doing amazing things to reach thousands of people. But right now here in my van, I'm carrying lots of food. This is special food stuff that uh, we're going to give to the people here. We are carrying soap. Uh, that uh, All this is courtesy of Impact Nation. And my prayer is that people uh, that have been giving to Impact Nation, I want to assure them that nothing has gone to waste. We have reached more people than any time I've ever done it without the help of my family in Nation. So, Tim, you people, you're a big blessing. And this morning we were in a village. I'll, I'll be able to send you some good pictures where we were in the village giving food because we were given, we could not, we were not allowed to be there apart from in the morning because the people in the village, they have no houses. These are people without houses. Uh, while I'm doing this, I'll be showing you most, most, some houses that we are dealing with right now. These are kind of houses. Uh, I'll make sure I can show you the kind, kind of houses we are, we are dealing with so that you know that it's, uh, this work is not a joke. So th we are in the small slum. Yeah. Where when it rains, it is the worst place that can rain. People are very hungry here. So we we, we are very grateful. And unfortunately, my camera could not do the front uh, thing because yeah. okay, I got it now. I got it. There you go. So this is one of the worst places uh, you can ever imagine we are driving in. Uh, there are more poor people that they have been chased out of their homes because they could not afford to pay the rent at this time. So where do they sleep, so, Mike? We, yes? Where do they sleep if they've been kicked out of their homes? We, uh, you can see this is one of the, uh, the temporary building we have just built for them. Mm -hmm. This, they, they make shift and uh, we, they keep that. That's where, that one is a family of eight staying in that house wow. temporarily. Yeah. Because I'm still negotiating with the, with the people, the owner of the building, to let these people stay in. But we are still having families that we need to feed. Let's go on, let's go on. But I just want to let you know, you people, you have transformed life. Uh, because without you people, even the water in this place is one of the dirty water you can have in our town. Because this is uh, next to this place is just sewage. It's oh. a proper seaway. Yeah. And uh, it's very, uh, it, this is one of the area with impact. Two, two years ago with the Impact Nation, we were able to dewarm thousands of children. It was in this area where we dewarmed a lot of children, thousands and thousands of children and gave them hope. So in a few minutes, we will be arriving to our place, uh, which I call the the homes that we are going in. Uh, 
all these homes, the they are poor place, but the worst thing is when you are poor and the poor people also oppress you. So, and everyone now is rushing to go back home before the, the curfew time, because our curfew is not a suggestion. It is forcefully than the government imposed force. So and that's what is that a, is that a specific here. time every day, Mike, that, that is a curfew? Like yes. everybody has to be home by a specific time? Oh, yes, the yeah. curfew in the next one hour from now, exactly one hour from now, everybody else, everyone should be in his house. And you know, when that says one hour, it means the police will start out coming out uh, immediately. They will start coming out even earlier than that. So, uh, so you will find that people here uh, with a lot of poverty, they will go back home and uh, they have nothing to eat. So once again, as I say, uh, we thank God for this opportunity that we can come here. Yeah, we can come here now. Here, I mean, you can see the kind of houses. This is the house. Yeah. People are living in. It. This is a home, no door. The door is everything. Wow. And as you can see here, you'll find the widows and the women in very big needs. And these are there, some of them with the nice homes. This is where they stay. Yeah. So we are, we have just come to see uh, how we can help. And already we are breaking the law because you are not supposed to have over 15 people. It's against the law. These are too many people. You can see too many children. Yeah. So we're not going to stay here long. But but, but I mean, where would they go? The Their home has no door on it. Uh, there's you know, there's <laughs> no choice. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I wanted you to see the experience. By the way, let me see. Uh, Pastor Simon, just bring the food and then we will leave it with them to distribute on themselves because we want to be. The way I told you, this this these are the toilets of over. Uh, 200 people. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. So this is the place where you cannot imagine. This is now their pure home. Yeah. This is a pure home. Even to get clean water. When they say wash your hand, do everything about the hand, they don't have water. They depend on getting water from the roofs, which are not even good roofs. There's now getters. But once again, I want to let you know that uh, Impact Nation has been a blessing to these people, and I want to bless people in Jesus' name. Amen. So, so we can bless we, you. Can we continue to help, Mike? Like, will you be able to, in the current political Please. environment, you'll be able to continue to go do feeding programs? Yes, I've been given permission. The fact that I don't want to push people to have self quarantine, quarantine, but I am here with permission. There are more. In fact, even the food we brought today. It might not be enough because I was not expecting more people like this. You can see these are the people, family, friends, the children in hundreds of children because they can't go to school now. They can't come to church to feed, so we are feeding them from homes. Yeah. Wow. So it's a, uh, it's a situation that uh, with the proper help, we can do a lot. We can do a lot. This is the family you can see children can see all this salamia rakiangu moja na salamia barienu this hi team so those are children from the family this is the family there are more people we are not allowed to have many people the way we are so now it's just like a, a breach of contract with the government but everything is working well so with all requests, if people can bless us so that we can be at least once a week or while we are still in this situation, we will be happy to bless these people. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tommy. Yeah. And what do you, so what, thank you what so food much. are you giving out, Mike? What is it that you're providing? What? You're, you said you're giving soap and is it rice or what? Food. Yeah, we are giving food. We are giving maize meal. Maize meal. Okay. Okay. Oh, these are kind of food we are giving. And now because of the health, we have to, brought, to bring soap 
Yeah. Which is the most important thing at the moment. Yeah, it's like gold because right people now. need to wash their hands, clean their hands, and we have this. And also, we are working on a plan to get the, enough water in this place, so that at least the the people here can stay safe and clean. Yeah, amen. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to continuing to partner with you. Uh, we know that this, you know, the Lord is going to use this as an opportunity for you to. Uh, just continue to demonstrate the kingdom of God. Amen. Because we have many people turning to God. Every minute we turn there, we see God doing His will. Awesome. All right, my Thank brother. You so well, you have a big job ahead okay. of you, so I better let you go. We are praying for your safety. Yeah. Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. And uh, we'll check in and again in a few days, if that's all right. God bless you. And once again, thank you so much. For all you have done to us, it has been a blessing. You bet. It's and a blessing for us. More people are coming in. Wherever we stop our van, we have hundreds of people coming and see what are we doing. But I am saying this. God bless everyone. Everyone who will get an opportunity to see this. You should know your impact is being felt in Kenya. What is your impact? God bless you. All right. God bless you.